what up, what up? It's your boy Martin and Sam Sam back again with another video, man. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are chasing out your dreams. Remember, anything is possible in life. Just keep the man upstairs, man. Keep him first, man. Thank you. Hey, but man, look at that. Look how dirty the Hellcat is, guys. Man, look at this. Y'all see that? That is terrible, man. That is terrible. I can't even see out the back camera because it's so dirty. Man, look at that. Like somebody was playing in the back of my car. That is crazy, guys. Look, dirty. You might well say my my uh, Hellcat cream. It's supposed to be white knuckle, but it look like it's cream. Look at it. I gotta go find me a good car wash. I'm gonna try to find, take it to a hand spot where they can just clean it up for me. Look at this, guys. This is terrible, man. I know this doesn't slide with some of y'all, man. I, it ain't slide with me, guys. Look, trust me, man. This is filthy. You know, this is filthy, guys. It's crazy. We got like a little glass spot right here. Look at it, man. Around the wide body part. And then, you know, inside, that's filthy. That's dirty. It's just the passenger side that needs cleaning. Everything else, you know. It's clean in the inside, but it's just this side. I mean, the driver's side. My bad. But yeah, man, the snow seems like it's clearing up a little bit. Not too, it's not too much, not too much going on. Uh, seems like all cars are able to drive and get out on the highway and move around. I think some of the back roads are still, I think some of the back roads are still kind of, um, kind of still messed up a little bit, but just be cautious if you guys go out you live on them back roads, you know what I'm saying? Don't be out here just, just driving on them back roads like that. You ain't got the, the type of car, the tires to uh, maneuver on them back roads because you do not want to be on the, uh, be in a ditch or somewhere, be in a place where you can't get out of there. You need assistance or you mess your car up, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen a lot of cars messed up during these times right now, especially uh, people trying to drive their cars. And then on top of that, uh, driving your cars knowing this weather you know what i'm saying you don't want your insurance to go sky high you know what i'm saying so that's another thing uh, you gotta take in consideration it's supposed to be 53 degrees today guys down here so uh, we still got snow on the ground but i think it's just melting away but still the back roads are still kind of icy down here so luckily uh you just got to be careful maneuvering through the back roads and uh and let's just go from there, guys. You know, that's all you can do. But we finna try to find a car wash. Hopefully, we can find a car wash that's open, that's kind of hands-on, and that can kind of get me right today because uh, I need it, man. The Hellcat is filthy, and it is dirty, and it's disgusting. Right, so I'll catch you guys in a second. Uh, one of my, me and my homies uh, discussing about this uh, the SRT Bree and uh, Tall Guy video. Uh, video he was just saying how that uh that uh that trx truck is a is hard i was like yeah man it's hard to be all-wheel drive damn my bad it's hard to be all-wheel drive you know what i'm saying um the crazy thing is she has more power than him like horsepower but his traction is gonna kill her every time you know what i'm saying his traction is gonna it's gonna be her every time down the line um now, it depends on how far the race is. It depends on how far the race is. Now, she can, like, uh, she can um, come, like, uh, let's see. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the mile, I mean, I don't know the mile range of the tracks or whatever, but they had a long distance, like a long distance. Eventually, she would catch up with them. You know what I'm saying? Because she, you know, she has more power. And you know, her, her car goes more faster. She eventually catch them, but the initial takeoff, something that's very short and simple, like I would say a quarter mile, I think he will win, but she will slowly start to creep up before they hit the finish line, if that makes sense. And I was just like, man, that, them and track hawks, man, I'm pretty much, they're like pretty much built the same, like far as like, you know, uh, all wheel drive suspension and all that type of stuff. Like, you know, of course the, the truck is a little bit more heavier than the track haul, but like, it's pretty much the same thing as far as like, 
you trying to beat one of those trucks, like they hard to beat. Like something that's all wheel drive, them suckers are hard to beat. And they got that much horsepower as you. They are, are up there in the rank the way you at. Like them are hard to beat, man. They ain't like something easy that you can just, you think you finna beat because you got more horsepower. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Now, now if you coming from like, you know, y'all doing 60 rolls and all that type of stuff, maybe you, you know, you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? But like that initial takeoff from that TRX, TRX and then, or a track haul and you doing a lunch mode, it's a wrap. All four tires are going. All four tires are going instead of your two, you know what I'm saying? Um, them suckers just hard to beat, man. They're nice trucks, don't get me wrong. Them, them are some nice trucks, man. They are nice, man. If I could, if I had, well, I eventually will one day. I would give me a TRX truck, you know what I'm saying? I'd give me a TRX truck, I wouldn't mind getting one. Uh, it seems dope, they seem dope, you know what I'm saying? Something with a Hellcat engine in it. Can't beat that man, and then you can tune it up to wherever you want to tune it to. I right, that that's super dope. That's super dope. You know, you can tune it up. Uh, what else you can do, man? I don't know. You want to do too much to a truck? You know, just to be on the safe side. Um, do a little bit. You know, whatever you want to do to code intake, uh, little mods or whatever to the engine. Pretty much, that's probably it. That's all I would do. I wouldn't do too much because, you know, it's not low. You know, you sitting up high, and then you, you know you got big tires on that stuff. And I don't think that stuff made for that right there. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be cautious when you're doing stuff like that because you don't want to flip that mud. That's a big truck. That is a big truck. That's like when um one day I seen uh, I posted it to my Instagram. They came out with a Jeep, like a four x four, like Rubicon, if I'm pronouncing it right, or Wrangler Jeep. Y'all familiar with what I'm talking about? Like the Jeeps you go uh, hiking. I mean, well, you go like, you take up to the mountains and you just, you know what I'm saying, you go do your thing. I seen one of those Jeeps and it had a Hellcat sign on there. I was like, nah, this is definitely not safe. I don't know how true this is, but this, I know for sure this is not true. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, man, this can't be right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I hopefully, hopefully, um, I don't think that was right. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people are modding, doing their own things to these cars, which is pretty cool. Um, that's dope. Like the guy that did little babies, um, he did little babies, um, 300 Chrysler. That was dope. Uh, that he purchased uh, That was dope It's like a Hellcat Chrysler 300 Now that was dope too Like you know what I'm saying Like it takes time It takes time But I think that stuff is dope man When you're able to do certain things like that You know what I'm saying To a car And mod them out You know of course you spend money But then again when you sell it You're making your money back You, you know what I'm saying You're profiting off of it So you know <sighs> That stuff man Hey I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I give you boys props, man. Men and women out here. I'm gonna tell you back, men and women, I give y'all props, man, for y'all put this money into these cars, y'all soup them up, y'all do this, y'all do that. Hey, man, I, I ain't got nothing but love and support for you right there, man, because that, you don't find too many people that can do that, man. That's, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's dope. I, I like that. I like that. You know, you just don't find too many people that are able to put that, you know, put that, you know, put all that stuff into the car and stuff like that. Able to do this and do that. You know, I think that stuff is dope, man. Hey, salute to you guys, man. Hey, salute to you guys. Cause, man, whew, I don't imagine. They tell me you got to spend five, six thousand dollars just to do this, do that to your car. I'm like, ah. I don't know about that, you know, uh, I don't know, I just haven't got my head around it yet, man, you know, uh, I don't know, man, uh, like I said, I'm just a, almost close to two years into this thing, um, almost two years into this thing, this car world that I've been wanting to do, you know what I'm saying, but I'm learning, man, and I know you gotta make, I know you gotta spend money to make money, I know that for sure, I know you gotta
got to spend money to make money. And I know that for sure, but guys, come on, man. I salute you guys, man, because... That's, that ain't no joke, man. That's a lot of money y'all spending. I mean, a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, I just ain't got my head wrapped around it yet. Uh, hopefully they open. But uh, we'll see. All right, guys, give me just a second. They're they able to give me right a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little car wash I like going to. Uh, uh, did they able to get me right? You know what I'm saying? Um, they're not able to do the inside. They're only able to do the outside today. It might be kind of dark where I'm at because I'm inside the building, as y'all can see. Um, but they get you right, though. You know what I'm saying? They get you right. They spread it all around and stuff like that for you. Uh, like I told you, the Hellcats was filthy, dirty as heck. Um, I just got to, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta get this mug clean. I don't wanna dip off my buddy. He's spraying my car down first. I know. All right, come on now. Hey. I ain't gonna lie, guys. These uh, these little things they be telling you to get on. Um, when you go into the car wash, you gotta stay on track. The little thing, those things are tricky, man. I sometimes, every time I feel like the mugs can mess up your tires, every time I, that's just me personally, I just feel like they can do that. You know, I in my my old Hellcat, that happened. You know, that recently happened to me. Well, uh, the guy told me to get on the track and to my car up, man, to my well, to my wheels up, made had a big scratch on it and everything. I'm just like, bro. This ain't cool, bro. Like, you could have told me prior to that. You know what I'm saying? But then again, that's my fault for taking it to those type of car washes. So, you know, it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you know, I got to take the blame for that. You know what I'm saying? So, it just sucks, man. I hate that, man. That, you know, you go through these car washes and sometimes you're at your own risk. You know what I'm saying? It's better to get them hand washed, get somebody to pull up to your house. I got a guy that can do that, but it's sixty dollars. Uh, it's about it's about sixty dollars every time. And I'm just like, Ugh. I don't like keep spending that sixty every time. So, but I mean, it's cool though. It gives me a good wash and it lasts for a long time. And yeah, this mud inside shining. It be shining for weeks, weeks. I be damn that thing. I can slip off of that mud. But you know, it's cool. I'm gonna keep y'all tuned in. I was telling you guys they get you right here uh it's a good car wash uh the name of the place is called damn what is the name of the place damn i'm trying to figure out what's the name of the place That's sad, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hold on, hold on. Okay, White Bridge Auto Wash. Um, it's definitely a good car wash to come to. Definitely, it definitely get you right. Um, appreciate it. That definitely gets you right. Uh, uh, shit, that was pretty clean and simple. Uh, you can't go. You can't get. You know what I'm saying? Can't. You know, not bad from now, you know. Now, I just gotta, I ain't finna get out now and look at it. But when I get back to the crazy, I probably, you know, I'm gonna look at it or whatever. But it's not bad at all, guys. Uh, come here. Normally, you spend about $25, $27. They do the inside and outside for you, so you can't beat that. So, so shit, you know, it is, it's pretty cool. You know, it can't be that at all. So we're gonna go from now. But I keep y'all updated, show you what the finished product look like in a second. All right, guys, the finished product, it's not bad. I did that while driving, so I can easily wipe that off. But I mean, it's not bad, man. They did a pretty good job. Uh, still got some of that back there. Otherwise than that, man, 
and it's better than it was at first it's, you know that was my main thing just trying to get it cleaned off so that's pretty much it you know that's it right there that's the hellcat right there guys hey you can't get you can't beat that man it still looks good to me Hey, but like I said, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you support your boy. If you're new to the page, hit that notification button and hit that subscribe button.